What's up everybody, Chris Scott here at Healthy Living with Chris Scott and today we're going to go over healthy eating hacks that changed my life. Let's get to it. Make sure you watch the full video because I'm going to go over a lot of things and they all tie together like pieces of a puzzle. So make sure you watch the full video to get the full effect and also make sure that you take action because remember Newton's law that a body at rest stays at rest and a body in motion stays in motion unless a force is acted upon it. That basically means that if you are stagnant in your life or you're going in the wrong direction of your life, the only way to make a change to that is to take action. The first tip is to place healthy foods that you want to eat in plain sight and take the ones that you don't want to eat like the Twinkies and the Ho-Hos and stuff like that and hide them and not have them around. And we're going to address that in a minute too. But if you do that, then when you go reach for a snack because you're hungry, you'll reach for something that's healthy. So what's an easy snack that's healthy? Carrot sticks, celery sticks, maybe some nut butter with it. All that is going to be a much healthier snack than reaching for potato chips or, or some other junk. So make sure that you put that stuff away and have the stuff that you want to eat that's around. And that also goes with water too. So you need to get enough water in every day. And it, I kind of do it based on how much you weigh. So I take two thirds of your weight in pounds to make ounces. So if you weigh 150 pounds, two thirds of that means that you would drink 100 ounces a day. So you want it, and that doesn't mean coffee. Coffee has water in it, but it's a diuretic. So you don't want to drink coffee and say, oh, I'm drinking water. You want to drink plain water. And so what you want to do is make sure that that water is around, that it's easy to get to, I have a water filter right in my a water holder right in my room where I work and I could just pour it. It's like a water cooler thing and I could just pour the water in and it's very easy. And I try to keep things like the bourbon and this Coke, you know, farther away so that I'm not drinking that instead. So make sure you do that and you will be better off. All right. So the next tip kind of addresses one of the things that I mentioned in the first tip about having bad food lying around. So now. The thing is, the next tip is that healthy eating starts at the grocery store. So basically what that means is buy healthy food at the grocery store and don't buy unhealthy food. And if you do that, you won't have the unhealthy food in the house. You don't even have to hide it because you won't even have it. Now, what do you do? How, how do you how do you do that? How do you because a lot of people will go to the grocery store and they're hungry and they start looking at things that they normally wouldn't buy and they grab a bunch of junk like potato chips or Doritos or whatever it is, Oreo cookies, and they grab all this stuff and they'll put it in their carriage and they'll bring it and they'll, they'll take it home. And the thing is, is how do you get away from that? Number one is make sure when you go to the grocery store, make sure you are full. So have a full meal before you go, and that way you are not hungry when you go to the grocery store. Because one of the worst things you could do is go to the grocery store and you're hungry. Because what's going to happen is you're going to be starving and you're just going to be grabbing all this stuff that you shouldn't be eating. And the other tip is to also have a list of healthy food that you want to get, a grocery list. And that's what you want to do is just stick to that list. You don't want to buy anything that's not on that list. So you put the list together, you go to the grocery store, you get your produce, you get all your healthy foods that you want to get, and you come home without buying anything else. And that way you're not getting all the junk food like the Hoses Ho-Hos and junk like that. And I know a lot of people will say, well, I have to buy that stuff because my kids eat it. Well, you could do yourself and them a favor, and that is just don't buy it for them. And find healthier substitutes, and there's a lot of healthier things out there now that they can be eating other than hostess ho-hos and other processed junk that's out there that they really shouldn't be eating in the first place. And that way you're starting some healthy habits with them right off the bat when they're young. And you're not gonna keep this cycle that we have in this world where we start kids off with very unhealthy decisions and then we reward them with those unhealthy decisions. And then when they grow up, they continue to reward themselves with unhealthy decisions. So what you wanna do is make sure that you're not buying that junk for the kids either and just get it, just buy the healthy stuff and have that instead. The next tip is to get healthy foods in by making smoothies. So some people don't like vegetables and I know a few people who don't like vegetables, but you can put them in a smoothie and you can't even taste them. So what you do is you put some fruits in the, in the smoothie. You can put whatever you want. You can put some protein powder in. Maybe it's like chocolate protein powder. It has a little bit of a chocolate taste to it. So it tastes good. 
but then you can throw in like I said, you can throw in banana and, and blueberries, and that usually will taste good. And then you can throw in a ton of spinach, because spinach will melt down to almost nothing when you blend it up. And it's just such a nutrient-dense, packed, incredible food source for you. So you could put all that into the smoothie. You could, I, it, my morning smoothie has mushrooms in it, has onion, it has peppers, has all sorts of stuff that's in there, it's like a salad basically, in there with the fruits and with the protein powder and a bunch of other junk that I throw in there. But the thing is, I don't taste any of the vegetables in there because I got the other stuff in there. And so a smoothie is a great way to get a lot of nutrient dense foods in your body that you may not necessarily want to eat, but you can do it if, if you put it in a smoothie. So do that, give it a try and see, see what, what you think. And I think you'll think, wow, I'm, I, could, I can drink down a whole mess, mess of spinach without even without even thinking about it. The next tip is to get your seeds in. And because seeds are full of phytonutrients and also packed with protein. And they're so easy to get in. You can put those in a smoothie too. You can also mix it in with some nut butter if you have an almond butter. I also buy a nut butter that actually has seeds in it already. And that is called Nutso. And you can get Nutso at a grocery store. And what's great about Nutso, it has cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, and pumpkin seeds in it. And so, and pumpkin seeds are actually, by weight, has the most protein than any food in the world. So, you know, going, going with uh, something like nut, Nutso is great. I, I get the organic one, and you can get it like at Whole Foods or Sprouts or any of those places that have a little bit better food in it than just like your regular run-of-the-mill dollar or food stores, which I wouldn't recommend going to because those places don't typically have the healthiest choices there. And if you do that, you'll get your seeds in. And you can always make your own too. You can always buy some almond butter and just mix in some flax seeds and some pumpkin seeds and just mix it all up and some chia seeds and you've got a really healthy nut butter with some seeds in it that you could just spread on bread or do whatever you want to do with it and you will get a lot of good nutrients in that way. The next one is to eat berries every day. So I'm talking about blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. These guys are just packed with antioxidants. And you know, you hear that whole saying about a doctor says to eat an apple, you know, to you know, keep the doctor away, eat an apple a day. Well, the thing about berries is they have about 10 times the amount of antioxidants that an apple has. So you are really, really, really packing in a lot of very necessary antioxidants in your body when you're getting berries in. And again, they would go really well too with throwing in your smoothie and they'll actually off offset the taste of the vegetables that you throw in there. So berries are an awesome thing to get in. You can get them in every day very easily. Make sure you get your berries in. The next tip, and I talked about spinach in the smoothie because it really grinds up to nothing. Well, another thing you do is you could cook it down too. So if you're cooking something like soup or if you're making whatever, eggs, or, or and when I say eggs, I use a vegan egg substitute called Just Egg. But if whatever you're cooking, like I make a vegan chili too with Impossible Burger and I throw in mixed vegetables, but then I throw in a ton and ton of spinach. And I'll tell you, you could throw in this much spinach and it will cook down to almost nothing. You don't even see it and you don't even taste it. In fact, when you if you do bite into a piece of the spinach when you're eating whatever you're cooking it in, it's going to taste whatever you're cooking it in. So when I have it in my chili, it tastes just like a piece of chili, but and it's and it's like but I'm getting all the benefits of having all this spinach cooked into that chili. And you could do it with any kind of thing, like stews and, and anything like that, vegetable stews or anything like that that you can cook and put the spinach in, it's gonna really melt down and you're gonna get the benefit of all that and you won't even taste it, trust me. The next one is to plan out your meals and to meal prep. So one of the things that my wife and I do a lot is on Sunday, we will cook meals for the whole week and we put them in Tupperware or whatever, we put storage containers and we put them in the refrigerator. And then when we come home and we're ready to eat dinner, we could just pull it right out of the refrigerator and heat it up and it's done. And we don't really work full-time jobs anymore like we used to, but I remember the days when, you know, we're traveling to the job, commuting to the job and actually the job, working the job, we would spend a good 12 hours a day doing that, you know, because we were working a lot and we were also commuting a lot. And 
we would come home and we would just grab a pizza or something on the way home or grab something that we shouldn't be eating. And a lot of people I know do it, you know, they'll go out to McDonald's or get something that's actually not going to benefit them at all. And they'll come home because they're too tired to cook when they get home. But if you meal prep on the weekend and you have all those meals already prepared, you just pull it out, you pull out the Tupperware, you, you heat it up and you've got your meal very, very quickly and, and, and you also can make very healthy meals and you can do it. And, and healthy meals will stay, you don't have to fr freeze them. I wouldn't freeze them because you, know, you want to keep them fresh and you can keep them nice and fresh in the refrigerator for a week. They'll still, they, they will stay fresh for a week and you can do that and, you, and then you don't have to worry about where am I going to get my next meal from? It's already done for you and it's going to be healthy because you're going to make it and you're going to know what's in it. That's all I had for the video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. It really does warm my heart when you watch my videos. I, I really do appreciate everything that you do for me. I really, really do. And if you have any thoughts or questions about what we went over today, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I will meet you there shortly. And if you'd like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because that way YouTube knows to push it out to others that can benefit from it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I put out a healthy living video. And if you know anybody who can use healthy living videos like this one, make sure you share the video and the channel with them so they can join in on all the fun. And for more tips on how to live a happier, healthier life, two videos are gonna pop up any moment and you can click on any of those videos and you can continue your happy, healthy living journey. And I'll see you all next time.